Yeah, and so Josh Emmett's name comes through the wire. Was he someone that you, you know, were aware of? Have you followed his career at all? Or is he just you know, a guy that you weren't really aware of at the time? No, I knew who he was. Um, it was surprising that when they came to me with, with the offer, um, he was, uh, you know, I was thinking about all these all these different possibilities of opponents I could get, and he wasn't in my head, but then he popped up. So that's just how the sport is, and you got to roll with it. You know, I'm, I'm just glad that uh, he stepped up and, and gave me an opportunity to still fight on this card. Yeah, and in his last fight, he made a bit of UFC history. He became the first fighter to knock his opponent down four times in one round. What does that tell you as someone that's kind of scavenging his game? Is it, you know, that he could drop someone, but he can't finish them by knocking them down? four times is that impressive to you what how do you read you know something like that I don't know you know I watched that fight it was against uh, Arantes right yeah. and uh, I mean it seems like Josh has some decent power in his hand so we'll see on Saturday <laughs> there you go and you know, what does this fight mean to you at this point I mean do you feel that this moves you up the rankings I mean I'm sure it doesn't do the same as if you were to beat all though but how does this you know advance you at this point or is it just you know a win kind of a placeholder fight for you now, I, I mean, if I'm being 100% honest, you know, they're kind of putting my back up against the wall again, just like my last fight, you know, fighting a newer guy who isn't very well known. There's not much win in it, in it for me besides the paycheck, but uh, this is the living that I make and, and I have to keep fighting. So um, it, it's... It's whatever it is, man. You know, it's just another up and comer that I got to take care of. Yeah, and I mean, Max Hall has made it very clear. You know, he wants to beat everyone in this division two, three times. You know, have a long title reign. So for you, you know, I'm sure you want another title shot. Is it just as long as I keep winning and keep myself, you know, in that mix, it's going to come. My time's going to come eventually. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, with a dominant win over Josh, it'll put me in a better position to maybe at least have a number one contender fight. Yeah, and I mean, what kind of performance are you looking do you, do you need another big win like the last time, another big finish, or do you think a win here just does, you know, keeps you in that mix regardless? I always look for a finish. You know, I'm, I'm never satisfied with a decision win, so uh, every fight I go out, and, and if the opportunity presents itself, I, I try and finish my opponent. Yeah, and Max has been putting most of these guys away. Does the fact that, you know, you had a pretty competitive fight with him three rounds, you know, make you more encouraged that you probably will get that shot sooner than later again? Um, I'd love to get the rematch with Max, but you know we're just we're taking it one fight at a time right now. So Josh Emmett on Saturday, and then we'll see what happens after that. How impressed are you by what Max is doing right now? The 12 wins in a row, you know, beats Aldo back to back. How impressive is that to you as a you know, contender in his weight class? He's he's doing awesome. It's not his weight class though. It's, the, <laughs> it's just the sports weight class. Um, He's doing, he's doing good, man. You know, uh, he's come a long way in this sport from his debut in the UFC, you know, getting submitted in the first round, and now he's a world champ. So uh, whatever he's doing, he's, he's doing it right. As far as motivation goes, like, how do, how do you deal with that? I mean, you're going against Auto, preparing for that, and then now this is a, it's just a fight for you. It's not just a fight, though. I'm risking a lot in this fight, so the motivation is there. You know, uh, in, in Josh's case, he has a lot to gain and not much to lose. And for me, it's the opposite. You know, I don't have much to gain, but I have a lot to lose. So uh, a loss to a guy like Josh who isn't known and isn't ranked could, could set me back a long way. So the motivation is there. You know, you back a, uh, a dog against the wall, that's when you're going to get the most fight out of him. Have you been in that situation before? Uh, like, or like now? Yeah, my last fight. Yeah. I fought Jason Knight. He was he was a young up and comer. He wasn't ranked when we booked the fight, but then I think he got ranked like 15th or something like that. But same, it was it was the same position I'm in now. Do you come in with a? Do you fight? Do you feel you fight different? Do you train different? Because now you're more defending your spot rather than kind of going up the ladder. I train and, and fight the same for every fight. You know, it's just. Uh, Maybe the, the reasons for my motivation may change from fight to fight based on my opponent, but I, I bust my ass and train my ass off for every single fight. And just, I guess, how does the process work when you're training for an auto? Do you just get a phone call and do they just say, fights off? Or, like, is that no, I think, I think, for a fighter? That I knew that they called us and kind of gave us a heads up that maybe they Aldo might get the title fight, but when I found out for sure, I found out on Twitter. So uh, that was cool. And uh, and then I didn't know what was going on. So I just kind of had to sit around, and, and they kept telling us that they'll find us another opponent, and I just uh, just kept training, man. That's it. Just stayed concentrated on, on getting in there, getting in fight shape, and working on myself. So you never formally told? You were never formally told no. that? So, do you get a new contract? Or, I mean, you have to sign a new contract. Is that all that just the paperwork stuff? Is it just yeah? It's just paperwork. Just you got a new contract for a new opponent. 
just the business. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.